Hey there friends, it's Cassie. Welcome back for another video here on my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be using some older products. I've had these for a while and have been wanting to use them. So we're going to be using this Citrus Trimmings stamp set by Studio Katia. And then we're going to pair that up with the Heffy Doodle Stitched Slimline Trio and the Heffy Doodle Sweet Scalloped Slimline Dies. As you guessed it, we're making a slimline. So I have just a piece of Express It blending card in my, now this is my Giganta Misty is what I like to call it, but it's the Scrapbook Misty. So it's a big one. And the reason I'm putting it in there is because I want this stamp to go all the way across the stamp set without having to move my stamp too much. I'm putting some masking paper in there and I'll have that link down below. This is an inexpensive paper. It's actually a removable ID by Avery. Uh, and I'm going to make a mask, just a small mask. I don't need a big one. And I'm cutting right on the line for that. And you want to cut right on the line for that to avoid any ghosting that you might have. So I'll put that down on my piece of cardstock. And then I'll shift my cardstock just a little bit to see where I want this at. And then I'm going to ink up the part of my stamp that I want. I don't want that very far left-hand side of the stamp. So I'm just going to make sure that's good and clean. And then I'll ink up the other portion of it. Because I don't want it to be too stacked up behind the line or the lemon. Um, but I do want to have some of that showing. And if I do miss any by a little bit, I can just use like a Copic multi-liner to fill that in. But I did a pretty good job there. And I'm just going to stamp that down. And then I can peel that away and then also peel off my mask to reveal a continuous scene at the very bottom of my paper. I am going to have this just doubled up for now. This is some fairly, I think, simple coloring because I'm putting down a wash just on a few of those lemons. And I'm going to end up doing a three color blend. The, the reason I say it's simple is you'll see I'm just putting in some shading where I think it would look good. At the end of the day, you put your shading wherever you want. It's going to look, it's going to look fine. It's really the colors that you choose. So my first color was Y13. My second color is Y08. And I'm just putting that where I, like I said, where I think it would look good. It, it probably doesn't match up with how those lemons are actually stacked on each other, but it works. I'll blend that out with the Y13. And then this third color is the one that really makes the difference. It's Y26. You look at those on that right hand side, those caps, and you're going to, you're thinking to yourself, how do those go together? But once you start layering those on top of each other and play around, you see that it just gives this dramatic, you know, look to it. It gives this beautiful shade and I love it. I absolutely love it. So play around with your colors. Sometimes when you're like, oh, I don't know if that would go together, slap it on a piece of scratch um, cardstock that you like to color on and see how they go together. This one is probably going to become a favorite for me. All right, so now I'm speeding this up about four times just so that you can see what it looks like to color some of the rest of those lemons. I'm only using uh, the second and third shades on my lemons that are in the very back, but then we go back to using all three colors on the ones that are in the forefront. And then I end up just loving this one lemon, this last lemon that I'm going to show you, just because that shading just is everything. And again, play around with it, you know, play around with colors and see. Sometimes, like I said, you might look at those caps and go, there's no way those are going to go together, but you blend and you end up loving it. I'm only going to do a two color blend for the leaves and I won't show you all of them because it's a lot of repeats, but we've got YG03 and YG17. And then I blend those out. And then we're going to do the same thing with these little leaves here, same colors. And then we end up blending those out a little bit more too. Now this last part I want to do, I want to make those lemons really pop. So I am grabbing a W3 and I'm just going around the outside edge and all those pieces in the center that don't color or cover. And then I'm coming in with a Y or a W0. I, if I had could do it over again, I'd probably go in with a W1. Or maybe I would have started with a W1 and then brought in the W0 because it doesn't blend out perfectly, but really all that is supposed to do is just draw your eye to make it feel like it's popping out. That's it. If you pay too much attention to that, then yes, you can see that it isn't blended great, but that's not where your eye is really going to go. It's going to go to those lemons. So now I'm bringing in the Heffy Doodle Stitched Slimline Trio, and I'm putting, this is the second biggest one down, and I love that. Stitched elements on any of these just add a little touch of extra and I love that and then I went ahead and already did the sweet scalloped slimline dye on that green 
I need to stamp my sentiment, so I'm bringing in the sentiment, inking that up with some VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink, stamp that down, and then I'll pull that out. And now we need to work on our base. And our base is a seven inch by eight and a half inch piece of cardstock that I am scoring at three and a half inches. So when it's closed, it'll be three and a half inches by eight and a half inches. I'll use that ergonomic bone folder. And then I do have to bring in my giant Misty again. I just noticed that with the slim lines, this is typically what I gotta do because uh, if I wanna stamp on the inside and I want that to be continuous, I'm gonna have to do the same thing. So I'm inking that up with a yellow from Ink on 3 called Bee Sting. And that's the Bee Sting yellow. And I'll bring in my mask one more time, put that over the top and I will move the stamp because I wasn't thinking. Originally, I actually was just gonna stamp this on that one edge and I thought, no, I want it to go all the way across the bottom. I absolutely love that. So once again, we'll just kind of be selective as to where we ink that stamp up and then check it to make sure before we actually stamp it down and then we stamp it down. And I'm saving that mask. So this is probably a, a card I'll wanna repeat in the future just because I really do love the way this one turns out. And it's just a fun one to just sit and color. Doesn't take a lot of thought. For my sentiment on the inside, I love this. It says, you're the zest. <laughs> Anything with a pun, right? <laughs> so that will finish the inside of our card. Now I'm just gonna refold, rescore, not rescore, but make sure that's all good to go. And I'll glue down my white panel to my green panel. And then you'll have this really cute little green scallop all the way around the edge, which is perfect and it matches nicely. And then I'm bringing in these little lime slices. These can come out of two separate um, embellishment sets from Trinity Stamps called Citrus Twist or Lime On. And then I'm putting those down with my little Trinity, it's brand new, Trinity Stamps, and it's called the um, Picket pick it Stick or Pickup Stick. <laughs> I could be wrong with the name, but I'll have it linked down below. This thing is awesome. I'm not even joking when I say this is probably now my very favorite tool. Not not just because of the price, but also because it has a little cap that goes over the top and I never have to worry about things sticking to the um, wax part of that pickup stick. And then I'll glue that down. And that's gonna finish off our card. This is a super fun one, great way to come into a Monday. I hope you're having a great day and I really hope you liked this card. And if you did, please hit that like button and consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. And as always, thank you guys so much for using my affiliate links, for giving me all the love, the high fives, whatever. <laughs> Thumbs up. I know you don't show me a high five, but y'all are awesome. Have a great day and I will see you very soon in another video. Bye everybody.